Hey guys, welcome to the world's most advanced field land management system. Thank you for your interest in Total Land. I'm Melissa Jackson and I'm the Senior Technical Account Manager here. I'll be your main point of contact for all your sales support and training needs. Let's get started by learning our way around the system. When you first log into the system, you'll see that you're brought to your desktop. On your desktop, you'll see multiple items that will help you stay organized, such as your recently viewed projects, entities, unread notifications, queued items, and report favorites. Let's explore Total Land's billing feature by creating a billing item. Once you select the billing tab, you'll be brought to the main billing overview. Here you'll see multiple options such as personal billing, billing summary report, and packaged billing information. For the sake of keeping this brief, let's begin with creating a new billing item. Once your broker clicks on Create New Billing Item, they will be brought to the Billing Item Edit page. On this page, they will need to fill in the details for the day being billed for, such as their project, relevant attributes, day and time, as well as any mileage and or expenses they may have. Once you've clicked Save, you'll be brought back to the Billing Overview page. On the Billing Overview page, you'll now see the pending billing items that you created. You have multiple options from this page, such as creating a new billing item or copying a day from a billing item you've previously created. This feature allows your brokers to quickly enter multiple days within a billing period. From the edit page of a billing item, the user also has the option to select the save changes and copy one. By selecting save changes and copy one, it will save the changes for that day and move them to the next day so they can quickly change details and add days to their billing. Once the user has created billing items for all days within the billing period, they'll want to create a new billing invoice. Once the user has selected Create New Invoice, they'll be asked to put in the details for that invoice, such as the day that they want to show it submitted, any comments they may have, and the billing item days that are relevant to that invoice. By selecting the box or unselecting the box, they can choose any days they would like to have added to this specific invoice. Once they've selected the days, submit date, and any comments they have been entered, and they save changes, the invoice will be created. Once the invoice has been created, no changes can be made, and a submitted invoice will be sent over to the office manager of your choice. Up until the office manager has approved the invoice, the user can still desubmit the invoice and make changes. Once the invoice has been approved by an office manager, however, this desubmit invoice option will disappear and the broker will no longer be able to make changes to that invoice. Once the invoice has been created, the user has the option to download an invoice with details in a PDF format or an Excel format for their records. However, if they choose not to do this, at a later date, they do have the option to come back into billing and download a package billing information for tax purposes. If you're an office manager, when you go to your billing tab, not only will you see your billing overview, where you can review your personal billing, but you'll also have added tabs such as billing management and billing reports at your disposal. From the Billing Management tab, the office managers have the option to look at multiple items, such as the billing items, user invoices, and any client invoices that may have been created. For this video, we're going to go to the User Invoice Management so we can review the invoices that were previously submitted by the field broker. Once on this page, your office manager is going to want to select if they want to see all brokers or specific brokers. They'll also want to select their date range, such as the 15th through the 31st. 
and then view the report. Once the report has been pulled up, your office manager is going to want to review any invoices that have been submitted by brokers that do not show an approved date. Once all billing items have been reviewed and approved by the office manager, the office manager will now want to create a client invoice. To create a client invoice, the office manager will go to Billing Management, Client Invoice Management, and then New Invoices. Once you're in the New Client Invoice area, you'll select your billing items dates that you would like to search for. Once you select the search option, the system is going to display any projects that have approved billing items within them. Once you have selected the project items you would like included, click the Create Client Invoice for Check Projects. This will bring you to the Client Invoice Management Overview screen where you will see the new invoice that you have created. Once you're sure that this invoice is the way that you would like for it to be, you will select the Generate Invoice button. Once you select the Generate button, you're going to be given the option to open the file. Once you open the file, you have the ability to review all data that is on the invoice. Once you're happy with the items that are on the invoice, you have the option to mark the invoice as printed so that you know what status it is. On top of the standard billing and invoicing feature, TotalAn also offers multiple billing reports, which include a custom billing report feature, which allows the client to create a custom report generatable in a format that is compatible with importing data into an external accounting software of their choice. Have I got your attention? Are you intrigued? Would you like to know more about how TotalAnd can help save you time and money? Feel free to contact me today to set up a more in-depth demonstration.